Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use if else statements in Scala. Now, if else can be used as statements and expressions in Scala. So let's see the first way of using uh, if else as statement and then we will uh, see how we can uh, use if else as expressions. So first of all, what is if condition or if statement? So if statement allows us to evaluate a Boolean expression and based upon the result of this expression, whether it's true or false, we execute some statements. So let me show you an example. So let's say I declare a val x is equal to 20 here. And then I want to evaluate if x is 20 or not, right? So I just use if and as you have seen in java or any other uh, normal language uh, you use if keyword and then you just uh, use your variable and evaluate it so for example i evaluate this condition which is x is equal to 20 or not so for equality we use double equals so for equality we use double equals and then for assignment we use single equals so if you do uh, single equal here that means the assignment of 20 to x which is not a boolean condition right so you can just use double equals to to check equality right so you can just write this kind of if statement and when this statement is true which is true in our case we can for example execute some uh, statement for example print line right and then let's say we can just print here in double quotes that x is equal to 20. If x is not equal to 20, we can use else condition. Else is just like if the condition if is not true, then else statement will be executed, right? So I'm going to just copy this and paste it here. And in this case, I'm going to just write x is not equal to 20. Let's run our code and let's see the result. So in this case, x is equal to 20, which is true condition in our case. Now let's say we want to assign the result uh, into some variables. So I'm going to declare a variable var and then res is the variable name. And I'm going to just assign empty string to this response variable. Now when uh, x is equal to 20, I will just assign, for example, this string to response variable x is equal to uh, 20. And if x is not equal to 20, I can just write response is equal to x not equal to 20. And I'm going to remove these print lines. Instead of these print lines, I will just use one print line here. And here I will just print the value of response variable. Okay, so let's run the code and let's see what happens and it prints x is equal to 20. So normally you have seen in other languages also, if you want to uh, assign some value using if statement, you can do it like this, for example. But Scala allows us to store this value directly using if expressions. So let's see what are if expressions. So what I can do here is I can just do val variable and I will just write res2 for response2 and I can just evaluate the same if using an expression. So how we can do it? We can just uh, write x is equal to 20 and we can just write for example x is equal to 20 and then we can write else here and then we can write x is not equal to 20. So x is not equal to 20 and this is valid in Scala. So what is happening here? So we are evaluating the condition here. And if the condition is true, it's going to return this value, which we have written after if condition, right? So this will be returned. So the value of result two will be x is equal to 20. Otherwise, if the statement is not true, then the value of result two will be x is not equal to 20. So let's check for non-equality, let's say like this, okay? And once again, I'm going to just print line the result two. So I'm going to just write res2, for example, and then run the code. And you can see this time, first of all, it prints x is equal to 20, which is due to this line of code. 
and in the next line it prints x is not equal to 20 which is using this if expression now if you want to format your code in eclipse you can just press ctrl shift f and your code will be formatted so what are the advantage of this if expression you are directly assigning the result into this variable which is constant right in the case of statement you need to declare a variable which is uh, not a constant value and then you are reassigning uh, the values in this uh, response variable which is sometimes not uh, useful now if you want to directly print uh, this response you can uh, do something like this also so you can just write print line and then using the if expression you can just write this code also so i'm going to just remove this line and you can directly print the result of if using this print line because it's an expression so it will return the result right and the result is passed to the print line argument and then it will print the result so let's run the code once again and result will be same so you can directly print line the result of if else statement and the result will be printed now as in other languages you can use uh, for example greater than expressions also for example x is greater than or equal to 20 we, we, we can check or x is less than or equal to 20 we can evaluate this condition also and you can uh, nest uh, these if else conditions so you can use if condition inside a if condition or if condition or if else condition inside else conditions also easily as you may have seen in the other languages you can also use and and or operators in scala for example i will declare one more variable y here is equal to 30 and i can just evaluate it like this so x if x is equal to uh, 20 and so and can be written in this way double uh, and symbols and then y is equal to 30 then we can print some value so for example here i can just write and y equal to 30 right and save the code and run the code and it will evaluate and it will print the result so you can use and operator like this and then or operators also right so and will evaluate the both conditions so when both conditions are true in the if statement so x is equal to and y is equal to 30 is true in this expression then only this will be printed if one of the condition is false then the else statement will be executed but when you are using or with these double pipes then if will evaluate for only one condition to be true if one condition from these two condition is true then this if statement can be executed otherwise the else statement will be executed for example i will uh, just say y is greater than 30 which is not true in the, our case but one condition is true and i'm going to run the code and you can see still it goes into the if condition right and if the both conditions will be false for example i will check x is less than 20 and y is greater than 30 which is false in both the condition then only the else will be executed which is x is not equal to 20 for example or you can print anything here so this is how you can use if else statements and expressions in scala i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now